Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another weather forecast. And we are surprisingly going to have another potential major snowstorm, but this could be a bigger one. It actually dropped way more snow than Winter Storm Dane. There's a likelihood for a major northeastern blizzard this weekend here. We are going to be seeing at the 40 to 60 mile an hour wind gusts as a system is going to drop extremely heavy snow, especially for the New England area in New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine, Massachusetts, and even Rhode Island here. It's going to be a potential massive system here. It's going to drop well over 40 inches of snow for some areas in the higher elevations. It's going to be a big system to talk about here. Uh, but if you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you're new. Also, if you live in the Northeast and New England area and you want to get more updates on this potential major blizzard since local news aren't focusing on it, be sure to also hit that like button and subscribe button. But without further ado, let's get the forecast. So here's a look now at the National Weather Service. And you're probably wondering why I'm looking at it right now when there's nothing in place in the Northeast right now. Well, the thing is, it's the system that's going to drop all that snow for the Northeast and New England area. This is going to be coming from this system right here that's bringing snow for portions of the South Central. This is a very small snowstorm that's going to bring in some very a decent amount of snowfall up to around a half a foot for portions of Oklahoma, Kansas, and far northern Texas where we have those windstorm warnings. But the thing is, this storm is going to move eastward here and it's, going to, it's not going to be the snow the whole way. It's going to convert into rain as it goes into the southeast. And the southeast is going to be a lot warmer than it was for the previous days. So we're going to be seeing 50s and 60s in the southeast. So this will all convert to rain. And then by Saturday, it's going to move up the, uh, the mid-Atlantic coast. And it's going to convert into very heavy snow because of a very, very large cold front that's going to be coming in place in the northeast. We are going to be seeing single digits and potentially negative wind shields. So it's going to be extremely cold. We are going to be seeing blizzard conditions with the very, very strong winds we're about to see. It's going to be kind of like a northeastern pattern here. and uh, Sorry, a northeastern pattern. And it's going to also drop that very heavy snow as well here. So let's look at the time frame here on the NAN 12 kilometer. And you're wondering if this is going to be happening Sunday and Saturday, why is nobody talking about it? Well, it's because obviously it's still a few days out. Uh, winter storm Dane, we talked about a lot earlier because models were a lot more consistent on it. But here, a few models are kind of not really showing it much. And of course, that includes the GFS. But CMC, European, and a lot of NAN models are all showing this snowstorm here converting. So as you do see, it's going to be coming from the system right here. It's going to be coming from that snowstorm in the south central and by thursday throughout tomorrow it's going to turn into rain like i said going to go through the south central and southeast where it's really uh, warm i guess you could say that and it's all going to convert into rain so we're going to be seeing a big rain event throughout the late week into the southeast and it's going to go up the mid-atlantic coast and it's going to rapidly convert into snow here so it's going to kind of be like windstorm dane where it was converting from snow uh, from rain to snow overnight. The same thing is going to happen here overnight until late Saturday. Uh, we're going to start seeing that snow converting for portions near West Virginia, the, the Appalachias in West Virginia, the Appalachias in North Carolina. So it's going to bring in a lot of snow, very widespread here. But look at all this rain. It's going to bring in extremely heavy rain for New York City, Boston, Hartford, uh, Providence, Providence. And then look at this. Now the snow is going to start to really blow up into much of Sunday here. It's going to bring extremely heavy snow for areas like Bangor, Maine, Portland, Maine, Concord, New Hampshire, Montpelier, Vermont, Albany, New York can finally get their snow here as well. Looking at some snow maybe for Baltimore, looking at snow for potentially Philadelphia, and even some snow there for downtown New York City here. And this could very well bring in some more snow by Monday into areas like Hartford and even near Providence, uh, New Hampshire, or not New, uh, Providence, New Hampshire, Providence, Rhode Island. So this is actually not all the snowfall totals here. It's actually not fully reloaded on the snowfall. So I will come back and look at this at the end of the video here. But look at all the snowfall totals we're expecting there in Oklahoma around just over a half foot of snowfall near eight inches. So definitely a good amount of snowfall there. And that's going to be slowly kind of tracing its way all across the United States. But obviously due to the a slight warm up here in the southeast, it's going to convert into rain. So I'll come look at the snowfall totals back at the end of the video here. 
Now a model that's really showing the storm to be an absolute massive blizzard is the European model here. And so here's looking at the next 66 hours. So this is obviously into Saturday uh afternoon we're seeing all that rain coming in so it's going to all start off as rain obviously very chilly rain and then as we now go to saturday evening a lot of that rain is going to start converting into snow here and even some ice so we are going to be seeing some ice threats here so we're going to start seeing that ice developing the areas near uh northeastern new, new jersey looking at albany it's going to start getting some uh some freezing rain you start seeing that freezing rain there as well into much of western and central massachusetts getting that out there near new haven new hampshire or not new hampshire new haven massachusetts or no new haven connecticut sorry and look at that look how heavy that snow is that is all the way up here that's extreme that's literally blizzard conditions and look at how strong the winds are going to be from this low pressure look how strong this low pressure is going to be it's going to kind of be like a nor'easter pattern here we're going to be seeing onshore wind that's going to bring as well some significant flooding here with uh, extreme uh, snowfall right behind it here we're going to be seeing blizzard conditions for hartford we're going to be seeing blizzard conditions for much of the new england area I mean, it's going to be a monster storm here. And for those who just saw my December forecast, I did say we're going to be seeing a good shot for snow across the eastern corridor for December. Well, here's a look at who's a good taste of that there. But, I mean, we're, look how close those ice bars are. This is going to be a lot worse than winter storm Dane. We can very well see maybe some snow for New York City there. And look at this. It just gets even worse there. Now, the low pressure going up the coast of Maine by Sunday morning. The winds are probably in the higher elevation of the Appalachians, just over 65 miles an hour. With that wind and that extreme heavy snow, it'll be an absolute monster storm here with less than a mile of visibility. It's looking very bad here. And this is very soon. This is literally this weekend here. I mean, tomorrow's Thursday. That's a good three days till it actually starts. So this is not far at all whatsoever here. I mean, look at near Mount Washington, probably well over 65 mile an hour winds there. Looking at a concrete, you're going to see probably well over three feet of snowfall. Burlington going to get a good amount of snow. Albany going to get some snow there. Uh, look at Boston, go to a wintry mix. And then Boston's going to finally get some snow there by Sunday afternoon, but it's not going to be as heavy as a low pressure. It's going to go over land, and it's going to start kind of weakening a little bit there. But look at those really, really strong winds there. I mean, this is literally going to be like a this is literally going to be like a a wintry tropical storm basically, because it is going to be a nor'easter here. And then you're going to still see some snow by Monday. Still going to be seeing some massive amounts of snow there. Uh, continue for Bangor, as well near the Burlington area and Mount Washington. And then we're still going to see a few showers all the way up into Tuesday. But look at the snowfall totals. I mean, holy cow. These snowfall totals are mental. I mean, look at this. Looking at around maybe an inch near New York City, a, maybe two inches near Long Island. Looking at around three inches in far northern New Jersey. So, again, this could obviously change a lot. Maybe for New York City, maybe more snow for Boston. I mean, this is absolutely crazy, these snowfall totals. A lot of big cities are just missing out, like Providence, New Jersey, New York, Boston. But obviously, this could change a lot here. But, I mean, look at these snowfall totals. This is all within, like, 48 hours here. Albany, looking at around maybe just an inch but just, just to the east of Albany, we're looking at well over half a foot there. And the upper Adirondacks around 4 to 8 inches. But this is where it gets crazy now. Burlington, uh, Vermont, looking at around 10 to 15 inches of the snowfall. Montpelier, looking at 14 to 18 inches of the snowfall. Up in near Mount Washington, New Hampshire, looking at around 46 to 50 inches of snow. That is crazy what the winds will be seeing it's literally like going to be like mount everest up there conquer new hampshire looking at around just under two feet of snowfall areas into central massachusetts they're looking at around 20 to 25 inches of snow i mean this is going to be crazy crazy conditions near warchester near springfield near pittsfield and greenfield all those areas in western and central massachusetts there uh hartford connecticut Going to be getting probably over 12 to 15 inches of the snowfall up there in north central Connecticut. New Haven on the coast there is looking at maybe just near 3 to 5 inches. Areas as well near Providence 
looking at around uh, one to three inches in Newport, looking at a trace there. But I mean, look at their Worcester, looking at around 21 to uh, 24 inches of snowfall. Greenfield, looking at around just uh, under two feet of snow there. I mean, this is crazy. Boston, look, just going to be avoiding the worst or one to three inches there, coming from that onshore effect there. I mean, this is just crazy, 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 crazy. Near Manchester, uh, New Hampshire, looking at around f uh, 15 to 20 inches there, uh, of course. Uh, Rutland, Vermont as well, looking at around 14 to around 18 to inches of snow. And as we now go into Maine here, uh, near Grafton uh, Notch State Park, we're looking at around probably just under uh, three, uh, just under two and a half feet. They're looking at around 29 inches of snow there. Looking near uh, Portland, Maine, around six inches of snow. As we now go up, up the uh, I, I believe it's I-95. Uh, you're going to probably see near Portland four to six inches. But now when you go more into the northeastern part of uh, the north central part of Maine there near Bangor, looking at around just under two feet there. But the most amount of snow will be in the higher elevations in Maine where there's not really too many cities there. Obviously, more cities are kind of towards the east of uh, Maine there. Uh, sorry, Bangor. Sorry, Bangor is looking at around three to five inches there. And then up there at the far north central Maine, they're looking at really good amount of snow there as well. I mean, it's going to be crazy near Caribou, looking at 10 to 20 inches there. Uh, Bangor, 3 to 6 inches. I mean, it's going to be a monster storm here. The GFS, look at the, the GFS. I I don't know why the GFS wants to get on my nerves because, all right, let's say the Europeans over over dramatic a little bit, but still, this is going to bring in some massive wind with nor'easter extreme nor'easter winds obviously there's no way it's going to be this little snowfall i mean the gfs is just crazy only showing max on the coast of maine seven to ten inches i mean that's that's crazy i mean they have literally less than four inches for the higher elevations that's european maybe a little bit dramatic but i mean this is so going to bring it dump a ton of snow and i mean it's going to dump a ton of snow because uh, the cold there's there i mean it's going to be single digits the winds are are gonna help just destroy the snow, just pumping and pumping and pumping down here. It's gonna easily accumulate because how cold the surfaces are. So I just don't know how heavy the snow is expected to be. There's no way those those snowball totals in the GFS are correct. But the winds here really crazy into Saturday, I believe evening. We're seeing around 42 to 50 miles an hour on Long Island, getting 40 miles an hour on Boston by Saturday in the next 78 hours. New York City looking at 20 miles an hour, and here's there near Cape Cod in Massachusetts, uh, or no, I believe yeah, Cape Cod up there in Massachusetts is looking at a good, uh, uh, some nice winds there uh, as well in those general areas near Cape Cod and Barnstown and and East Falmouth. We got looking at really 50 to 56 miles an hour by Sunday morning. The winds will continue to increase, now getting 65 mile an hour winds there near the far uh, near the Cape Cod area, uh, looking at around 35 to 40 miles an hour near Hartford. Are uh, still looking at 30 to 40 miles an hour across Long Island, up to 60 mile an hour winds there near Mount Washington, anywhere from 45 to 55 miles an hour there in much of Maine. And then the winds continue to increase. They're looking at as uh, we go here. Near Mount Washington, 70 miles an hour here. 70 miles an hour. 50 to 55 miles an hour there for much of Maine. Still getting around 30, uh, 35 to 40 miles an hour for Boston by Sunday evening. Even Providence still seeing around 40 miles an hour. 47 miles an hour near, uh, near the uh, Albany area. Up to 40 to 45 miles an hour for much of uh, Vermont. And these, was, these winds will continue to be quite gusty. All the way up to around Tuesday, we're still, uh, Monday and Tuesday, still looking at around up to 40 miles an hour for some areas in the New England area. And let's talk about those temperatures and then we'll wrap up the video. This is the temperatures waking up on Sunday morning here. I mean, look at these, look at the windshields here. The windshields are crazy. Uh, 25, 10, uh, 25 degrees windshield there near New York City, looking at 18 near Albany. Looking at 7, the Adirondacks in Upper New York. Looking at windshields near 18 in Providence. 16 as well near uh, near Hartford. And 23 as well near New Haven. Uh, looking at, at as well uh, near the far western portion of Massachusetts there. 
where we obviously do have Pitt, uh, Pittsfield and Westfield. We're looking at 8 degree windshield to anywhere from 5 degree windshield. Up near Burlington, 14 degree windshield, 10 degree windshield as well. Near Burlington, as well near Rutland, we're looking at around 8 degree windshield. Up in the Mount Washington area, we're seeing negative 2 degree windshields there in White Mountain National Park there. Looking at 9 degrees there as well in the National Park in Maine. Looking at 20 degree wind windshield for Boston, 12 near Worcester. And then it's a con these temperatures over days, uh, over uh, day highs are going to be struggling to get past above freezing there. By the uh, by, the lows waking up Monday morning, they continue to be really cold there. 17 near Boston, 11 near Pittsfield, 10 near Worcester, 15 near Hartford, 5 degrees there near the Vermont and New Hampshire border, 13 for Burlington, 6 degree windshield to 0 degree windshield for the Adirondacks, getting single digits there potentially for Maine. And then it continues and continues to drop here, looking at up to negative 11 degree windshield there. 14 for Boston Tuesday morning, 6 degree windshield for Worcester, 5 degree windshield for uh, for Hartford, negative 1 degree windshield near Mount Washington. And continuing by Wednesday morning, still seeing around negative 13 degree windshield, but windshield will start to, I guess you can go quote unquote warm up, but still 17 and the teens there for big cities there. But... Hope you guys enjoyed the video and bye guys.